here are our top five ways to teach tagging. All right, guys, in this video on how to help teach your players tagging, we're gonna talk about the positioning on the bag. So there's really two different ways to teach it. One would be to have your player straddle the base. All right, this is great for younger players. It's great for players understanding, finding the bag and letting the ball travel. Number two would be to have your players start in front of the base. Okay, this is a little bit more advanced. This is more of your, your high level player. You'll see a lot of guys in the major leagues do this, but it all comes down to this, making sure that we let the ball travel. Too often kids wanna go out and catch it and then try to find the runner. But we've gotta remember the ball is gonna travel faster than our glove. Okay, so we wanna make sure we let the ball travel, we put ourselves in a good low position, and we make sure that we work from the ground up. Because a lot of times we're gonna get bad hops, and we don't wanna be tall stabbing at that ball that stays down. We wanna be nice and low, our gloves low. Here I'm straddling, here I'm in front, but either way I wanna make sure I let that ball get to me. I'm gonna catch, quick tag down and up, and sell it to the umpire. All right coaches, in this drill on how to teach your players the proper way to tag, we have a hurdle set up. We've talked about letting the ball travel, and that's so important because the ball's gonna be faster than our glove. So I have a hurdle set up here, and the idea is that when the coach throws or hits the ball to us, we make sure we let that ball pass the hurdle before it touches our glove. So the incorrect way to do it would be have a coach throw it to me, I catch it way out here, and then I try to find the runner. It's way too slow doing it that way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it pass the hurdle, and then down and up, sell it to the umpire. Again, I'm trying to sink, I'm getting down into my legs, I'm nice and low, and even on one hoppers here, I'm gonna get positioned, sink with it, quick tag. Make sure you let that ball travel, catch it over the bag, quick tag down and up, sell it to the umpire. Here we are, we're gonna use the three bag drill. What you need is you need three bases, and you need three discs, or three cones. And what this does, it makes the visual easier for the player. So what we're gonna do is we set up our three bases. I'm gonna pretend that this is the runner. He's coming this way. Then when I go to the next one, the runner's coming from this way. And then I'm going to the next one and the runner's coming from this way. So here you have the different bases. You have your markers and your visuals for your players. So what's gonna happen is your player's gonna run up to the first base. He's gonna straddle. He's gonna catch and tag. He's then gonna attack this way. He's then gonna catch and he's gonna tag and then he's gonna run back to this one. He's then gonna catch and tag. So what you're doing is you're helping the player go and tag left and tag right. And you're also giving them the visual of where they're tagging and where the runner is. If you wanna make this an advanced drill, you can actually have players run and slide and have the, you know, have the defense actually Put the tag down but in this situation we're going to set up three bases three cones and it's going to look just like this now another part of this drill same exact drill but now you're actually going to toss long hops at the defender so watch how the tags are going to go down but watch what i'm going to do this time So that way you're working on seeing the bad throw, staying nice and low, catching and tagging. Notice how Coach Steve didn't attack the ball. He stayed low, he sank with it, and was able to make the tag, down and up. All right, coaches, our next best way to teach your players how to tag properly. We've got fielder's dome mats, we've got the player, and we've got a coach rolling ground balls. So Coach Duke's gonna roll me a ground ball, but I don't know where it's gonna hit. All right, so it might take a bounce up, it might stay down, Again, I'm in a good position to where I'm gonna let the ball travel. I'm making sure I'm working from the ground up. I wanna make my quick tag. If it takes you so far offline, just go and secure it and don't let the ball go into the outfield. So that's a great drill on anticipating a bad hop or practicing a bad hop, but also staying low. Cause you can notice that one in the middle, it stayed down on me, but my glove was already positioned. So I was there and made the quick tag. But fielders don't match. It's a great tool to add into your practice. Here's a great drill to help your players with tagging. You're gonna take a fungo bat, a mini bat. You can even take a tennis racket if you'd like. You're gonna take a bucket of baseballs. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the ball to second base. And either the shortstop or the second baseman are gonna cover the bag just like it's a steal. It looks just like this.
So as you can see, some of them are gonna be nice long hops, other balls are gonna be short hops, some are gonna be offline, but that's a really good way to help your position players work on tagging. All right, coaches, those are our top five best ways to teach your players tagging. If you like these videos, make sure you click the subscribe button for some more of the Dominate the Diamond bests.